welcome to today's video which is going to be a very short favorites. There's a few things that I've been loving in February and I wanted to share them with you. So without further ado, let me share with you my first favorite, which is this essential oil. It's lavender essential oil. Lately, I have been getting uh, into essential oils and I got a diffuser that I have in the bedroom. And uh, one of my favorite oils to diffuse is the lavender particularly before going to bed i like putting a few drops in the diffuser and i just find it very find it very soothing my second favorite is tea and it is these chocolate rooibos and vanilla um, the reason i really like this is it's rooibos it's so that means it actually doesn't have caffeine and this one is flavored chocolate and vanilla so what's not to love um, the thing that makes me a little bit sad is that I'm starting to run low and this one, uh, my mom brought it. It's a British brand and I don't think it's easy to find in the US, uh, but my mom brought it with her when she came to visit and um, yeah, I might ask her to ship me another box um, soon. My third favorite is a book and it is this book by um, Austin Cleon. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's called Steal Like an Artist. This is a book that's very popular. I have seen it in so many videos, blogs, um, social media posts. Um, I absolutely love the layout. First, it's like a square format, which is very cool and a little more unusual, uh, but it has a lot of like little doodles um, it's very easy to read. There's not a ton of text, but all the information that's in it is very valuable and very, um, you know, enriching. I thought it was um, absolutely great. And it's one of those books that you can read and reread and it's always um, interesting. Uh, but yeah, I absolutely love this. I will be purchasing his other book that he has. It's called, I think, Show Your Work. Uh, and I am really looking forward to reading that one. My next two favorites I can't actually show you because they're apps on the phone and it is a color story and a design kit. I put them together because they're from uh, the same company. It is from the uh, two sisters that own A Beautiful Mess, which is one of my absolute favorite vlogs. Um, they have so much content that has to do with crafts and home home decor. They do a lot of like before and afters when they renovate their houses. Um, they're super creative and to me, they're one of my biggest sources of inspiration. But they have these two apps. Uh, a Color Story has been around for a while and it's basically like filters and effects that you can put on your um, pictures. They also recently added the grid so you can plan your Instagram, which is really cool and very useful. So I have been using this a lot lately. I like combining filters. Um, she just released, uh, one of the sisters, Elsie, she just released a new like filter pack that's called, called Golden. It has a very 70s look, it's gorgeous. Um, but yeah, the one thing that you have to know is that a lot of the filter packs, um, you have to pay for them. I have paid for most of them. I have absolutely zero regrets. I love them um, and use them all the time. So for me, it was a worthwhile investment, but it does come with some like essential free um, filters that are also great and you don't need to spend money. A design kit is the app that they just released and it's more about creating graphics and has like stickers and you can add text. Um, so I use that one a lot more for Instagram stories rather than my actual feed. And I have been absolutely loving um, using all the stickers and the brushes that they have in there. So I would highly recommend if you're into um, Instagram or any other type of visual social media, I would highly recommend that you check out those two apps. My last favorite is a pretty big investment that I've made in February, but that I have been um, kind of like contemplating and saving money for six months. It's not something that I just decided on a whim because it was a lot of money and it's uh, the camera that I'm currently filming on. I upgraded my camera. Up until now, I had a Canon T5i, a Canon Rebel T5i. I believe it's the 700D in Europe. Um, and I got that one in 2014, so four years ago. 
got, you know, it was a great starter camera. I, it was exactly what I needed when I bought it for the budget that I had. And I have been very happy with it. But over the past year, I have been kind of feeling like it was not exactly doing everything I wanted it to. Uh, I mainly was very frustrated with the autofocus that was very, very slow. So since I use it so much, I thought that it was worth it to invest in an upgrade. Um, and it took me a while to decide which camera I wanted to go to. I was hesitating between the Sony Alpha 6500 and the Canon ATD. Um, and in the end, the Sony was just too much of an investment because it meant investing in a whole new system, um, buying an adapter for the lenses, which is not cheap, um, getting new lenses that would actually work with the body of the camera. Um, whereas with the Canon, I already had the lenses, so I did not need to purchase those. And it just felt like a more um, worthwhile investment for me for the money that I had available. So I got the Canon ADD. Um, I kept the box just in case something wasn't working. I probably can get rid of it now because I've been using it for like two weeks now. Um, but that way I can show you guys what it looks like. Um, I got the body only, so I didn't get the lens mainly because like I said, I already had lenses. Um, and I'm currently saving in the hopes of buying um, the um, Sigma, that's the 1835 1.8, which is also quite a bit of money. So that probably won't happen until much later in the year, if not the next year. Uh, but that will be my next big investment um, camera gear wise. But yes, I am absolutely in love with this camera. The autofocus is so much better, which not surprising. This is a much more like a much newer camera than the T5i. And it's also like um, a series like above. It's better than the Rebel would be. It's in, you know, one number less, if that makes sense. Um, so it also has a much bigger sensor um, compared to the one that I had before. And I mean, there's something that Canon does right. And I know that's been talked about a lot lately on social media and it is the, the color of the Canon is just amazing. Um, I have a Sony point and shoot and I do have to color correct the footage that comes out of that one a lot more than I would have any of the Canons that I've used. But yes, I am so happy that I invested in this camera and um, I am so looking forward to doing more things with this. Let me know in the comments below what you've been loving in February. I would love to know. Um, thank you so much for watching. Don't hesitate to subscribe and I will see you next week. Bye.